Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Sneak up on me. Ugh. Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Ugh. It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Your, uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? <laughs> Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. <sighs> Why 
Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry. I've got nothing to tell you. Look. I don't know what Jesse told you. But as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Hmm? Who is that? Where did you, you take it? You help me, I help you. You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed, underhanded, hotshot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. You're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not? Ugh. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me if safe you passage just open to this these... gate. Just open this gate no. for your protection. Just I am not us. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. Barnaby. Safe. Sir. Thank you and goodbye. Dr. Dr. Barnaby. Goodbye. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We gotta line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're gonna have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right. We've got to deal with the situation we've been handed. The Boneheads back at HQ might be working on something, too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. 
All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Yo, Frank! Give me a hand here. Hey. What... what gives? Considering the helicopter and all, we have to work together. But that doesn't mean we can tell you everything. And everything we do tell you can't necessarily be printed. Yeah, so? So, I just want you to appreciate the situation. Well, we're up to our necks in zombies. Yeah, I think I appreciate the situation just fine. Zombies. I still can't believe all this, you know? Seems so unreal. You all right there? Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> you should rest a while, Brad. You go ahead and catch some sleep first. We can switch in four hours, okay? Anyway, before this whole thing started, someone called the professor and told him to come to this mall. Jack the line, did you? So was this the caller, this guy here? They've got something to do with the zombies, don't they? They're the reason we came here. And if he gets away with Dr. Barnaby, none of our questions will be answered. Dreaming out here. Someone shooting from the floor above. Pacha, Mama. Professor. Look out! If we don't do something, the professor's gonna end up zombie child. I'm going for it. You just worry about staying alive. Got it?
Just take care of the professor. Go. Okay. He's unconscious, but alive. Ah, damn! Are you all right? Yeah, but I'm not in any condition to carry him. Can you get him back to the security room? Sedatives taken effect. The professor won't be waking up anytime soon. I managed to stop the bleeding, but he's running a fever. He needs medicine. A fever? Medicine, huh? been hurt. I need medicine. Hurt? That's just what this bitch said when she came to vandalize my store. I don't take kindly to vandalism. I won't allow it. Listen to me and listen good, partner. I don't allow vandalism in my store! My store. My store. Who will run my store when I'm gone? My store. My food. My sales. My. Customers. Have a nice day. Clean up! Register six! Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
back in the land of the living? You're one tough cookie. Can you stand? Look, I, uh, I saw you at the entrance, yesterday. You needed medicine too. Maybe we should work together. I don't need any help. You people don't know a thing. You're the ones who caused this nightmare. You ruined Santa Cabeza and started all this. 